Number 32. An electrostatic paint sprayer has a 0.2 meter diameter metal sphere at a potential of 25 kilovolts that repels paint droplets onto a grounded object. Letter A. What charge is on the sphere? Um, so conceptually, I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. I can't even draw a picture. Um, so I'm just going to run through this just using values, right? I know I have a, a diameter distance, so we've seen problems where we're dealing with diameter, but we probably are going to need the radius. So basically just take the point 2 and divide it by 2 to find the radius. And the radius is generally then the distance, right, between those two points, the voltage and I guess the charge. So this is our R, R, R value. Okay, and then it told us the voltage, right, 25 kilovolts, but I know I need that in volts, so that's simply going to be multiply that bad boy by 1,000, so that's 25,000 25, volts. Okay, and that is equal to V, and then they want to know charge, right, so they want to know Q, and I'm, I guess I'm doing this all backwards maybe, so they want to know Q. So i got to figure out a formula that relates these three variables, and there it is on the right-hand side, V is equal to KQ over R, Plug it on in, solve this for Q. So the um, so we would just cross multiply the V. Actually, watch, watch. Move the R on up, on across. Move the K on down and across. And look, you got it for Q. And there you go. Okay, there's your formula. And isn't it just so pretty? So R is going to be 0 0.1. The voltage is 25,000. The K is 9 times 10 to the 9th. And that's the Q now, so let's calculate. So 0.1 times 25, oops, 25,000, then divided by 9 times 10 to the 9th. And there goes the dog. Thought my, I thought my boy would get a nap now, but, and do a couple of videos. But possibly not, if he keeps barking, then he will be awake. And that means I can't do videos. And, yep, that's called freedom, everyone. That's called freedom. All right, so there you go. There's the charge. Uh, what charge, then, what charge must a 0.1 milligram drop of paint have to arrive at the object with a speed of this? All right, so basically, I know this is connected through energy somehow. So to have, for this mass, to have this velocity, you know it has some type of energy. Right? It has a kinetic energy, one half mv squared. So why don't we solve that? So the kinetic energy that this drop of paint is moving with is going to be one half times the mass. That's in milligrams. But you know we need that in grams, so just take the point one, multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Wait, what did I say? We need that in kilograms. So what happens when you do chem, physics, bio, math, all the units just start to blend. Anyway, you need kilograms here, physics. So it's going to be 0.1 multiplied then by uh, 10 raised essentially to the minus sixth. Okay. And then the velocity here was 10 meters per second. Square that. And here we go. So this is going to be 0.5 times 0.1 times 10 to the minus six times then 10 squared. And this is five times 10 to the minus sixth. Okay. That's in terms of joules. Now remember we talked about this in the past. Whatever kinetic energy the particle uh, has at its final point, right, might have come must have come from somewhere. It must have come from maybe a change in its potential energy somehow. So I basically know that this value here represents then the change in the object's potential energy. Now that I know it has a change in potential energy, okay, and I also know that uh, it says what charge is on the sphere. So I just got to read it again. What charge must a 0.1 milligram drop of paint have to arrive at the object with that? Yeah, so we're going to look for Q this time. We don't know what the charge is, but we do know that the voltage is going to be the same. Why do I know that? Well, otherwise I can't solve it. <laughs> so I have to make that assumption. So here is our uh, second formula that we need. And I see that I cannot... There we go. So the second formula is going to be the... Change in voltage is equal to the change in the potential energy, all divided by then that charge. Solve this for Q, just do a simple whoop, switcherooski. And after the switcherooski, just simply plug in that energy, 5 times 10 to the minus 6, all then divided by the voltage of 25,000. And what do we get? Divide that by 25,000. 
25,000. 2 times 10 to the minus 10. So 2 times 10 to the minus 10th. And that will be in coulombs. Coulombs. I, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We will see you soon. Take care.